Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. Advanced Turbo Gas Generator Engines The DRDO has uh, gas turbine research establishment has recently issued a tender that signifies a significant stride in India's pursuit of cutting edge technology. The tender calls for the development of manufacturing assembly and engine integration technologies along with the manufacturing of engine hardware and the supply of 20 units of assembled advanced turbo gas generator engines including spares. Next, Jaguar squadron to get first batch to Tejas MK1A aircraft. The IAF is gearing up for a major boost in its domestic fighter jet capabilities planning to acquire an additional 97 light combat aircraft Tejas MK1A aircraft on top of the 83 already ordered in 2021. This ambitious acquisition plan signifies a strong commitment to indigenous fighter development and promises to significantly shape the IAF's future fleet compo uh, composition. Next, defense talks with Tanzania. India and Tanzania's military ties are heating up with defense equipment sales talks ramping up and armored vehicles taking center stage. General Jacob John Makunda, Tanzania's chief of defense force, made a strategic visit to India's uh, mechanized infantry school in Ahmednagar last month, where he witnessed demonstrations of two key contenders, the Indian-made BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles and the DRDO's WHAP-8 into 8 amphibious wheeled armored vehicle next indian engine autonomy with zoria is being secured in a move bolstering india's self reliance in defense technology kalyani strategic system limited a subsidiary of leading manufacturer bharat forge has acquired a major majority stake in the Indian arm of Ukrainian firm Zoria Mashprocht. This strategic acquisition position India to overcome supply chain disruptions and build indigenous capabilities for vital turbine engines. Next, cutting edge ground vehicles for Indian defense. Gopalan Aerospace, a leading innovator in the Indian aerospace industry, has achieved a significant milestone with the development and delivery of a custom-built 4XL hydraulic suspension steerable ground vehicle capable of carrying a hefty 54-ton payload. This amphibious, ambitious project completed within a remarkable 8 months represents a pivotal step toward India's self-reliance in critical defense technology. Next, purpose of second launch pad by ISRO, a report. ISRO chief S. Somnath clarified on Sunday that the instruction, construction of a second la launch pad in Tamil Nadu's uh, Thuddukudi district is not intended to replace the existing facility at Sri Harikota. Instead, the new launch site aims to serve as an alternative strategically located to support launches of small satellites, providing geographical advantages for enhanced efficiency. Next, Israel pitches for promoting tourism in Lakshadweep. The Israel embassy in India pitched for promoting Tourism in Lakshdweep on Monday amid in diplomatic row between India and the Maldives over this paragaging remarks made by Maldivian ministers following Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the islands. Next, Tapas, a story of legacy, not closure. The fate of DRDO's Tapas medium Altitude Long Endurance Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Program has taken an interesting turn. 
while funding for its production has been diverted to the newer Archer NG program. The Tapa story is far from over. DRDO's aeronautical development establishment will continue to refine the airframe, utilizing its potential for both engine testing and future platform development. Next, clean slate, new engine for India's MCA program. As Indian quest for a fifth generation fighter jet gathers momentum, Rolls Royce has thrown down a gauntlet with an audacious offer. The British engine giant has proposed co developing a clean slate new engines for India's advanced medium combat aircraft program, prom uh, promising complete intellectual property that is IP transfer and operationalization within a fla flat decade. Next, uh, sixth gen Tempest program. The winds of change are swirling in the world to world of fighter jets as India and the UK prepare for a pivotal two-day meeting between Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and his UK counterpart. This visit, scheduled for January 8th, would mark a turning point in the defence relationship with the potential for joint development of the cutting-edge Tempest fighter jet at the forefront of the discussion.